Hey there, I have another fun cardboard roll project to do with you. So I know you guys have some cardboard toilet paper rolls around the house and if you don't have one now, um, you will in a few days, right? So just hold on to it and you can do this project with me. We're gonna be making a bunny rabbit out of this little roll, okay? Um, so here's some supplies, parents, that you need to grab. Um, along with your kiddos so you can do this project with them if you would like. So I have a toilet paper roll and then um, I have some tissue paper although you could just use the roll like it is because there are brown bunnies out there, right? Uh, but I do have some tissue paper. You could even do fun tissue paper like striped or polka dotted um, or colored, however you want to do that. And then I have a glue stick and scissors and then I have some construction paper to be able to make the ears and the feet okay uh, and then you'll need something like maybe a permanent marker or fine tip uh, Crayola marker something like that to be able to draw all of our fun detailed features okay so <clears throat> This is obviously way too much, but if I only do a single layer, it's gonna be kind of see-through, right? So we wanna double up our layer. So I am going to fold my construction paper and kind of eyeball about how far, and there. Then I can trim off all of this extra right now parents here's one thing I want you to watch when your kids are cutting because this is what I notice when I'm working with kids and scissors is a lot of kids don't know how to hold their scissors correctly so I want to remind you thumbs go in the small oval thumb hole at the top fingers go in the bottom oval loop at the bottom right so and you can probably fit two three maybe even four fingers the thumb stays on top and we do little snips. For some reason, kids want to roll their hands over like this, so keep the thumb up top. And then of course, always remind them that scissors are artist tools, they are not toys. For some reason, they like to spin them on their fingers or snip them in the air, and it just makes me nervous because I've actually had to get stitches from scissors. So, we have to be careful. Okay. So now we can put a little crease up here. There we go. And then what we're gonna wanna do is we want to roll, and I guess to help ourselves, we could put a little bit of glue right up here. We could put a little bit of glue on here, just like that. And then we can roll this down and around, and then we could keep rolling. Just like this, rolling, rolling, rolling. Get that tissue rolling. Okay, so now wherever it ends is where we're gonna put some more glue, okay? And since this is a double layer, I'm gonna put some glue underneath here as well. So just like that, I've got double glue on here. And then we will stick it down just like this, and if you can roll this kind of tight, that would be helpful. So I'm gonna roll that just like this, and then I'm gonna tuck these ends in, just like that, to hide them inside. And then I don't have to cut them the exact perfect size. There, our little Biggie is talking. It's okay, Biggie, come here. It's okay, come here, you wanna say hi? There, that's who you guys hear. Biggie says hi. <laughs> he's, a, he's only six months old. He's not so sure about all this. Okay, there. So, we've got our toilet paper roll all wrapped up and all tucked in. You could even do this if you don't have tissue paper. You could paint your toilet paper roll. You could um, measure out maybe some copy paper that's just a little bit longer on both ends and roll 
copy paper around the toilet paper roll. It will work just fine. So now you need to think about what kind of ears you want your bunny to have. Are they going to be pointy or are they going to be kind of rounded? Are you going to flop one over? Um, but anytime I am trying to make two of something that's the exact same size, I, first I'm going to kind of measure, okay, I fold my paper in half just like that. And then what you'll want to do is you want to draw that ear shape on there. So let's say I want to make some silly ears, kind of like that. Okay, now I can cut my ears out just like this. Here we go. And there. So I didn't cut exactly on my line. So that will have to be on the back. There. So I've got two little ears for my bunny, right? And those are kind of silly ears, but I like it. Then in the middle of the ears, <clears throat> let's bring my board up here. I got to be careful. I don't want to color on my cute little bunny painting. And then we can color this in just like that. Okay, so that's what ear number one looks like, okay? And then we want ear number two to match, right? So we will match as best as we can ear number two. There we go. Just like that. Okay. There. So now we have two matchy ears. Okay. Now we are going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom front of the ears. And then we stick those inside the toilet paper roll. We don't put them on the outside because we don't want to see the bottom of the ear, if that makes sense. Okay. And make sure wherever your seam is on your toilet paper roll that it's not on the front. You know where that seam of the tissue paper is? Oh, the glue is wanting to stick to my finger. There we go. There! That's so cute! Okay, so we got two little ears on there. Then for the feet, what I'm going to do is I am going to measure the roll. So I'm going to put the roll on here so I know about how big to make my feet. So I'm going to stick this on here and I am going to draw. And if you have a pencil, that might be better. Yeah, because this marker is making a thick line. There we go. There, so I know about how big that is. And then I'm going to make some cute little thumper feet, right? Little thumpers. There. Okay. So now we have some little feet. And again with the scissors, we're going to carefully cut these out. Now, um, I am going to cut right inside the circle line that I made, but I'm going to stay on the outside of the feet. And I'm going to show you guys a little trick I do. Notice that I turn the paper in my scissors and I just do little chomps. Now I'm staying on the outside of the toes right now. And then what I'll do, oh, this time I'm going to go inside the marker line. Yeah, definitely use a pencil because then you could just erase it and not have to worry about cutting it off. Okay. So now what I do is I go right inside and then I just chomp them out. So curve, chomp, curve, chomp, and I get rid of the space that is between the toes. Just like that. So now, there are my feet, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put glue on this outside edge, and honestly, liquid glue may be better for this part. 
Um, and then you just let it sit still for a while so it will dry. But I'm putting glue right along the edge. And then I will set my bunny down right on top of that paper. Just like that. So now it's little feet are stuck on there, right? That's so cute. And make sure that your feet line up with your bunny ears. You don't want like your feet on the side of the body and then the ears on the front. Okay, now we're gonna use a Sharpie and we are going to work on the face. Now, if you had Google eyes, that would be super cute to hot glue on some Google eyes. Um, but I am going to draw an oval and an oval, just like that, oval and oval. And then I'll do a circle inside the oval and color that in in a circle inside the oval. And the awesome thing about art is you can totally make it your own and there's nothing wrong with that. That's actually encouraged in art, you know, to have everybody have different outcomes, different results. It's not like math where we all have to have the same outcome. Like I can put eyelashes on there if I want to. I can put eye, oops, eyebrows. It is a little tricky to draw on cardboard just because they're curved, these little rolls. I can do little upside down triangle. I can do a smile, smile. So curve, curve. Do some whiskers. Oh, my feet are coming off. Okay, stick those feet back on there. Get back on there. It's because I knocked them with my hand. Probably should do your face first. Maybe give our little bunny some teeth. Oh my gosh, how cute is that face right there? And then of course I could color in the nose. Um, oh, we could add some little arms to this guy, couldn't we? Although maybe I should have made the face a little smaller, huh? His face kind of takes over the whole thing. Okay. Um, I could do a little arm. So it's like a big U. And then our bunny is symmetrical, so got to try to make its little hands even, right? And then maybe, maybe we put a little flower necklace or something kind of coming off. Why not? And then I could color that in as well. I could pick a different color. Maybe do some purple. Oh, yes. Color that all in. Super cute. Do a little yellow. Or if you had like some little jewels, you could glue those on. Now I'm getting a little crazy, I know, but why not? It's art. You can put whatever twist you want to on here. This could be a boy bunny and it could have a bow tie. So that, my friends, is our cute little bunny friend. I sure did have a great time being crafty and reusing supplies around the house. Um, I would love to see some pictures of your creation. I had a great time and I cannot wait to do some more art with you.